Hey, that's me. My name's Cam and welcome back to an episode of Reefcraft. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be looking at all the butterfly fish species that I've come across in my diving from around the world. There's a lot, so I'm going to split them into two parts. This will be part one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and drop a comment if you've got a particular favorite of butterfly fish. And if I've missed one that you really wanted to see, I will do my best to get out there and film it. Just like other fish species, the variance in these butterfly fish ranges a lot, especially in the color, pattern, and shapes of their body. And my hope for today's video is to show you at least one species that you haven't seen or heard of before. And to get things started, we're gonna start with one of my favorites. This is the threadfin butterfly. Typically you only see them in twos and threes, but at night sometimes they congregate like this. This was a really big school of threadfin butterflies and it was just on sunset off one of the islands in New Caledonia. They get the name threadfin because of a filament that comes off the top of the dorsal fin on adults and you can see it really well illustrated in that video right there. This next one is a kind of weird butterfly. It's the triangular butterfly fish. It's definitely not one that you see commonly, but it's incredibly beautiful. It's got that chevron pattern all the way fading down its body, as well as the red and yellow stripes across its face and a highlighter stripe all the way around its body. And like a lot of butterfly fish, it is a coral coralivore, meaning it eats coral polyps and that's why I see it around a lot of heavy, dense Acropora fields. Ooh, and next we have Chaetodon rafflesii. Now these guys are stunning. Definitely better known as the lattice butterfly. And that's because its scales have these dark circles around them which creates lattice lines all across its body. Now this fish stands out. It is such a golden bright yellow that even from across the reef you can see these ones. And I usually only typically find them in shallow areas. So most of these shots will be less than 10 meters and almost always in pairs. The next Chaetodon is Chaetodon bonetti, and this is the eclipse butterfly fish. It has these stunning blue lines under the black circle on its body. Again, a classic coral eater, and it's found around acro fields. Speaking of coral eaters, next up we have the melon butterfly fish, which almost exclusively eats Acropora and Posilopora. And because of this, when corals are affected like Acropora, this fish is unfortunately affected as well. And massive events like coral bleaching events can have devastating impacts on this species. Like in recent times when the Great Barrier Reef is bleached, these species saw a significant decline in their population. So another good reason to keep our coral reefs as healthy as we possibly can. Next up, we have the Pacific Double Saddle Butterfly Fish. Now this one is really cool and I bet there's something you didn't know about it. These guys are opportunistic feeders and tend to not eat corals. Emphasis on tend. So for everyone with aquariums out there, these guys actually smash at Tasia and other nuisance pests in the aquarium and are pretty hardy. So think about this fish next time you're facing any of those issues. Okay, here's a cool one. This is the black butterfly fish. Pretty obvious how it gets its name and look at that stunning orange and yellow tail. They've also got this cool bump on their forehead. And if I zoom in, you can see it really clearly right there. They breed as pairs and also live as pairs. Although I do usually find these guys on deeper reefs, they also occur in the shallows and it's typically when they're juveniles. And you can see a juvenile in this video in the middle there. Side note, how cool is it to have this many butterfly fish in one video? This next one is the oval spot butterfly fish. Very similar to the eclipse butterfly, but lacks those blue striking lines across its eye and on its body. In all my travels, this one is fairly rare. And unlike a lot of other butterfly fish species I come across that come in pairs, this one is usually solitary. Its favorite food are hydroids and anemones, but it does enjoy eating corals as well. This next butterfly fish is incredibly hard to film, but it is one of my favorites, so I pre-apologize for the footage. This is the dotted butterfly fish, which for me is a pretty poor name for how bright and stunning this fish actually is. It has the incredible golden yellow body, and it also has the filament the same as the threadfin butterfly. And you can't forget the little cute blue patch it has just above its beak. It is definitely worth Googling this timid fish so that you get to see a better picture of it, but I also hope I get better footage in the future. Look how tiny and cute this chevron butterfly fish is. Now, if you look closely, you'll see a black band on its tail. This completely changes and just turns into a black tail like this one on the adult. 
Now these guys are reasonably solitary fish and you tend to only find them by themselves, except if you're lucky enough to find them during mating season. Which, as you can tell from these clips, I didn't. Chaetodon plebeus is probably the funniest of the scientific names, but this is the blue spot butterfly for pretty obvious reasons. This fish actually has an incredibly wide range of temperatures and environments it can live in. It actually lives as far south as Rottnest Island in WA, all the way to the very northern tip of Australia. The atoll butterfly fish is a really cool one. It tends to live in a lot deeper reefs, all the way down to 120 meters. This one really eats algae and other benthic invertebrates, so I reckon it's another good bet that it would be pretty good for things like Aptasia in the aquariums. The next fish we're looking at is the dot dash butterfly fish. These guys are another deeper dwelling butterfly fish and they actually form monogamous pairs. I do see these guys getting mixed up online with spot band butterfly fish. But you can tell them apart because these guys have the diagonal bands, whereas the spot band have horizontal. But the cool thing about that is these two fish can actually hybridize together. So keep an eye out for those. This is the lined butterfly fish and they can actually get pretty big. They can get to the size of a large dinner plate. It is known to be quite territorial about good feeding areas, especially around areas of high, dense populations of corals and you'll actually see them actively chasing off other species. And it has a massive range, anywhere from South Africa all the way across to Hawaii. To finish things off for part one, I'm gonna show you my favorite butterfly fish. This is the black saddled butterfly fish, and I truly think nothing compares to this. This is an incredibly cute little one, and I always find them in shallow areas and protected areas of the lagoons. Black saddled butterfly fish, predominantly eat coral species, but they also are interested in different invertebrates. Like you can see this one hunting in amongst the coral rubble. They are closely related to threadfin butterfly fish and dotted butterfly fish. You can kind of see the resemblance in the shape of the body and that thread fin coming off the top dorsal fin. They also get pretty big around that 30 centimeter mark. And if you look off to the left in this video, you can actually see a turtle sleeping under the reef. Okay, that's it for part one. I hope you're looking forward to part two. Here's a little sneak peek of what you can expect coming up in the next video because I have a heap more butterfly fish to show you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing and drop a comment with your favorite butterfly fish and what species of coral, fish or anything else you want to see in upcoming videos. I'll do my best to put something together. All right, catch you on the next one.